Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to our Spellcasters Only playthrough of Shining Force. When we last left off, we had uh, basically uh, just defeated Runefaust coming into Dragonia. There's not a lot to do here before the battle. That's a, a shop. We don't need to explore that too much. Uh, there are a couple things that we do want to check out, though, real quick. One important thing is right here. This is some kind of shrine, and if we read this... Dragon Shrine, the door opens for two heroes who come forward and show the way. So, uh, that's important to note. That'll, that'll be, uh, something we need to worry about later. And then over here, we have another room. I don't think there's much over here. Yeah, Dragon's mission to protect, to protect the manual of seal from evil. We already know that. I'm just checking around for a couple treasure chests real quick. Hey, we got Boken here as well. Hey again, this is Dragonia, so where are all the dragons? Fair question. Alright, so this is one of the things we need. We need, need this broadsword. I guess we don't need it, but we we want it, I guess. And then I'm just checking out these bookcases. Yeah, looks like things are not going so well for the dragons. Uh, we're going to go ahead and equip our sword on max real quick. And then also, we've got another quick little area over this way. I'm not sure what, what's up with that crystal in the middle of town there. There's our HQ. Right over, uh, oh, no, my mistake. Right over here. We've got a uh, pretty cool item. The Halberd. We can give this to Arthur, but he can't equip it just yet. And we've got some stuff here. Diaries, uh, Diary of Blue's Mother. I found steps in the corner of the room. Blue made them. Diary of Blue's Mother. Blue is such a crybaby. Baby, he's not like the other dragons. It's a terrible thing to say about your own child, but I guess as a parent, you got to be realistic at some time, at uh, some points as well. So we're gonna go ahead and give this um, halberd to Arthur real quick. I don't think any that he can equip it yet. Uh, we'll just double check. Also, I gave Arthur's power ring to, uh, to Gong. Alright, so here's, here's our, our guy, Blue. Hey, go away! And, uh, he doesn't want to fight? Uh, who's this, though? Blue, this person is our friend. He's here to help. Stop shaking, you baby. Oh, she's so mean. Just, he just, he's just not having it. So she's worried about Blue, and uh, she followed us all the way from Rudo. A child in the woods like that seems dangerous, considering all the ambushes, but she's not happy with him. Uh oh Terrible things are afoot! And he's uh, certainly rushing out to help. That's good. Here we have a Shower of Cure. We uh, will definitely not be using that in this battle, but it's good to have. It's a, if you don't remember, it's an all uh, full party heal for... Everybody, just regardless of where they are on the map. So anyway, if you want to help the girl, open the shrine door. Oh, what are you going to do, crybaby? Bam! Fucking set you alight is what I'm going to do. And then, just suddenly, <laughs> Blue's like, alright, I guess I'm going to join up. That's cool. He's a cool character. He's pretty weak at the start, uh, and he's not a spellcaster, so we can't use him, unfortunately. And he can fly, of course. He's a dragon, so... And he can also be promoted, which is important to know. But, uh, yeah, she's gonna run off back to Rudo, like she said, and then, uh... Oh, shit! Look at this guy. Acting all cool. Remember me, Max? Cain of Runefaust. Ready for your last fight? Go back to your headquarters and get ready. Then you'll meet your doom. Uh, yeah, that's entirely possible. This is going to be a difficult battle. Um, no two ways about it. We don't need to talk to the priest aside from maybe a quick save. So we just run down here. We can talk to Nova. Get some advice. That's good advice. Um... We don't want to face Kane one on one. That will end in disaster, and it may end in disaster anyway. But all right, we'll go ahead and uh, save up real quick here, and we'll go back outside and try this battle and see how see how it goes for us. We will continue our journey, but we don't need any other assistance. Thank you, though. All right, here we go. 
All right, I knew you couldn't hide in there forever. Come out, little hero. Max, be careful. Remember that Kang killed Varios. He did indeed. He's got a shitload of uh, help as well. Now, there is a secret item in this level. Oh, I'm glad I came up here, actually. <laughs> We've got uh, some gargoyles going on up here. That's not that big of a deal. I don't think it matters if we go and go after these chests. Um, I'm pretty sure since we already looted them, there'll be nothing in them. Or we just won't be able to interact with them, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, let's see. Message. I don't remember what message even does. But, uh, yeah, there's our battle map. I'm thinking... We're going to sit tight initially, because that is quite the the bulwark they got over here with all these golems and shit. So, um, yeah, we're going to hang out for a minute and see if uh, those gargoyles come to us. I suspect that they probably will. And then we'll we'll sort of pick these guys, those guys off and then we'll go after those other ones. Just getting to Kane is going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> um of sorts because uh, he's got all those guys around him they're quite powerful we definitely need to make sure that priest dies it's near him there we go yeah these guys are definitely coming down uh, I should have maybe given gong or given somebody else the ring of mobility and actually I just realized I forgot to give um, I forgot to give Chris the staff of uh, I wanted to give her the, the Holy Staff, primarily because uh, she has a little bit better healing spell selection than Lo does, actually, so I would like her to get leveled up faster if I had to choose between the two of them. Um, and you know, she's not really going to be in a position to do a whole lot of damage most of the time, but just in case, I, I would like her to be able to uh, use that staff. So. We'll get her uh, equipped up and stuff as soon as we can here. Uh, now, I think Arthur can still pretty much put a massive beating on those uh, on those guys, so I'm not worried about him. And yeah, actually, Max is doing just fine as well. He's he's certainly going to be going to be okay here. Um, we'll start off with just a light uh, touch of blaze here, and that'll allow Arthur for sure to kill this guy, unless he misses or something. Although we want to get more than just Arthur leveled up here. And actually, yeah, we can get Domingo to uh, finish this guy off. And that's going to make our life a little bit easier. The problem with Kane is that uh, he's extremely strong. Hey, there's another level. Three attack. That's pretty good. Only one defense this time. Eh, it's pretty good level overall still. I, I mean, I don't think Domingo's attack is going to do more than one damage to a lot of these enemies regardless. But, uh... Actually, I'm almost thinking... Uh, I wonder if Gong can reach. I'm gonna try to have him reach down there. We'll see what happens. Oh, the Gargoyle quickly evades. What a dick. Yeah, I expected that Gargoyle would go after Max and not Tao, so I wasn't super worried about it. And yeah, we don't have to worry about Max uh, dying to these guys. That's, uh, that's for sure. I'm surprised that guy actually didn't move at all. Um, yeah, we're going to have Henri come over here, and she can do a little bit of blaze on this guy as well. And now pretty much anybody should be able to kill that gargoyle without a, a second thought. Those guys are in glorious AoE formation, of course. Uh, we also want to... Ah, uh, yeah, the turn order is a little bit different than last time. I was going to say, we want to make sure Lo gets re-equipped, but he doesn't have a weapon yet, so uh, there's not much we can do. That's okay, though. We'll uh, just chill out for a second here. Those guys are going to hang tight, I think, so here we go. So we'll equip Chris with uh, the Holy Staff and the Speed Ring, and then we'll give... Uh, we'll give uh, Lo, we'll give Lo the Guardian Staff. We just got to make sure that he actually equips it <laughs> next time. Uh, and there's nothing we can do with Gong, unfortunately. That, that Gorgola moved out of range, which is obnoxious, because I was going to have Gong actually attack him. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll check out Ken when we get a little bit closer. Um, I think... I'm not going to do anything with that Gargoyle, actually. Come, come over here, though, and we'll definitely attack this one. 
Man, the misses. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than uh, than you did in Shade Abbey, man, because we are gonna be fucked otherwise. All right, good damage on this guy again, and we might have Domingo just melee that guy or something. Man, I wish he would uh, not be getting like fives in speed and stuff. That's not uh, terribly terribly useful. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would like uh, one of our healers, I guess Chris preferably, to get the kill on that gargoyle there. Oh, except since I moved Max, he's going to attack her. Oh, but look, she, she's going to get muddled. That's that's okay. We can live with a little bit of muddle. Um, we might just need to uh, wait that out. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe not. All right, please hit this guy. Thank you. 15 points of damage is excellent. But yeah, I'd rather Elnri get muddled than actually attacked by that gargoyle, because she could almost get one-shotted. There's a little bit of a misplay on my part. Um, oh man, that AoE formation, I love it. Okay, so now we need to... Uh, I'm gonna not worry about healing Max just yet. But I am going to re whoop, no, excuse me, I'm going to re-equip Low here and have him hang out for a minute. And we'll start bringing people down this way. I'm going to have Domingo, I think, attack from the top. I also uh, gave y Yogurt another healing seed, if I recall, uh, before this battle started, just in case we require him to do a little bit of healing. Alright, now we can start moving Max down here. There's actually a secret item in this level, and I believe it's up near Arthur. One of these. Uh, maybe not. I could have sworn there was. Hang on, let's uh, let's look at our map again. Ah, no, it's up this way actually. I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, we'll we'll swing around this way, and if we can get up there, we'll. We'll grab it. Let's see who who could get up there the fastest, the safest even. Maybe Domingo because he still has the ring of mobility. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, we'll send Domingo out this way. We're gonna need him to do a little bit of AOE anyway. Um, so we'll make sure to take care of that. I'm a little bit nervous about moving people up too aggressively because I don't know if those guys will break formation before we can get in range. Uh, and it would be shitty if one of our casters died because of it. We can actually get Max healed up now, though. Want to keep him topped off, because these guys do hit kind of hard. All right. I hope those guys stay in formation like that. That, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, we can move Gong up a little bit. If we move him, like, right here, maybe. And he can be our bait. I guess. Yeah, those guys are not gonna move. Pretty pretty confident about that now. We'll, we'll put Yogurt over here, I guess. Put Max up here. And are we ready to dump the fat AoEs down on these uh, mofos? I'm pretty sure that we can make some good stuff happen here. I'm just counting one. Let's see. Yeah, let me, uh, let me check on this. She's gonna move into five. One, two, three, four, five. So unless this like fucks her or something like that and uh, messes up her movement distance, I think we're gonna be okay here. So let's give it a shot. So we're gonna dump a uh, yeah freezes on these guys, and I want Tao to be able to get over there to finish him off, ideally, and then on Rhea as well. Uh, we'll see how it works out though. Ooh, that deadly attack is excellent. This is this. I've said this before. This does waste some XP, but it's ultimately uh, for the best, I think. And yeah, this is gonna hurt a little bit. It's okay though. Domingo's uh, extremely tough, much tougher than our other casters by a wide margin. So, um, this is a situation where I think we keep her here, actually, and uh, we're gonna do a blaze uh, three on these guys. Need to save some of our MP here, but depending on the turn order, this could go well or could go very poorly. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. 
But we need to get some people between Tau and those golems, basically. Ah, uh, yeah, this will work. We can bring Arthur over here. And, uh, I'm gonna finish off this Master Mage real quick. I hope, anyway. Yep, there we go. Hey, and there we go. Arthur's level 20. Four defense, two HP, and two MP. And he gets freeze now. That's good. All right, now I think if we do, let me let me examine these guys real quick here. Um, wrong button actually. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, if we bring Henri over here, we can do. Uh, oh, this, oh, she has freeze three now. When the hell did she get freeze three? That's incredible. I'll put her over here. We'll try a little freeze three action just for fun. Forgot that she's still muddled, so it's actually kind of risky. 25, I wish we would have gotten that deadly attack on someone else. On this guy, but uh, that's okay. Six defense and five speed. Holy shit. And five MP, that's an incredible level. That's That six defense might mean that she could actually um, survive an attack from that golem, because otherwise I'm not sure she could. That's why I was a little hesitant. These guys are going to be cleaned up pretty quickly, though, it seems like. Uh, we're going to just hang out, I guess, with Lo. We'll put her back here. Here we go. Maybe Gong can get a little XP here. We'll see how he does for damage. He's only doing one damage to these guys before. Yeah, that's, uh, that's more like it. And he gets level 4. 4 defense, 2 speed, 2 HP, a couple MP. All right. I like him to get some more attack, cause uh, that power ring is the only thing that's really holding it down right now. <laughs> He's gonna get hit here. That four defense is gonna come in handy. He was taking like ten damage from these guys before, maybe more. I'm not sure if these guys are tougher golems or he had better land effect or something before, but uh, yeah, that could have been a lot worse. I guess we might as well have yogurt come over and uh, get some action. Hey, there we go. Good job. I'm gonna try to have Chris, I think, finish that guy off, so we'll just have Domingo hang out for a minute. And Tao can hang out. And Max can hang out. Everybody can hang out. Hopefully the turn order doesn't fuck me somehow. Uh, Henri, nope, she's fine. Arthur is fine as well. And here we go, alright. This should level her up, I think. Pretty pretty confident. She does more damage than Gong does. It's, uh, uh, it is what it is. Six defense. Man, those big defense uh, levels are, are huge. And she got heal three. That's good. Okay. She can only use it like once, but better to have it than not have it. Now we're going to have, let's see. We're going to have low heal Domingo up real quick. And we'll have, um,. Gong probably heal himself. We're gonna be, I think, probably relying on this power ring a little bit to do its magic. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes here. Can he, uh, yeah, nobody can stand there. Um, uh, hmm. I'm gonna move Gong up here, although it doesn't really matter. I'm just wondering if Chris can make it to Arthur. I think she can. I don't want to have, have her have to cast a heal, too, just to get to him, though. And uh, before I forget, we also need to send Domingo topside so we can actually get that item. Um, I'm trying to also decide if we should top anybody else off who's gotten levels. Like, Henri got a couple extra hit points, so maybe we'll, uh, we'll take care of that before we go fight those guys as well. Okay, so Domingo should get there in a turn or two. She can do her first heal of the battle, actually. We'll probably have Gong get the heal on um, on Reed just because we're going to rely on him to do a little bit of damage, I think. Maybe, during this fight. We'll see. Uh, let's see, Low. Yeah, Low's going to save his MP and hang out. Those guys did break formation, I'm just now noticing, which is a little annoying. Go ahead and heal her up. 
but Henri's got enough in her for a couple more freezes. One more freeze three, even, if uh, we choose, and also a blaze, so... We can make some good stuff happen here. I'm pretty much gonna tell you right now, though, somebody will die <laughs> in this episode. Somebody on our team. Uh, it's pretty much a guarantee, I think. At least that's been my experience every single time that I've fought this battle. Actually, Chris needs a heal as well. I'm just now seeing. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll help her out a little bit here. But yeah, Domingo's almost to his destination. And here we go. Okay. I'm going to actually give the uh, mobility ring back to Domingo at this point. Uh, the halberd actually has an interesting effect. I don't think Arthur can use it yet because he's not promoted, but um, we'll we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna at this point I'm actually going to I think put Gong like right here, and then I'm gonna move Arthur up a little bit. Put, uh, let's get everybody around in the corner here. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the reason why I'm. A little scared here. Kane. He has the Sword of Darkness. He has a 65 mother effing attack as well. He's insanely strong. And uh, there's a little, little special thing with that Sword of Darkness. If he uses it on us, uh, the end effect is a diesel spell, which uh, does exactly what it sounds like. I'm actually wondering, can Arthur just like straight up murder this mage right now? I think he can. Let's try. It's going to mess up our AoE a little bit. Oh, so close. So close. Um, but it could be worth it if it works out. So we're going to actually, yeah, we'll put on reback here. We'll put low down here. We'll put Chris down here. Uh, all right, so yeah, now we're at the point where we want to use, not the yogurt ring, we want to use the boost ring on Arthur. Hopefully it doesn't break, as usual, or the power ring, to get the boost effect. And he gets 1 XP, that's fine. Yeah, those guys aren't even going to move. So we're going to be able to, for sure, get these guys taken care of. We can actually even move Tau over here, and now we can get some good stuff going on. This could cost her her life, but uh, it'll be worth it. She's almost out of MP anyway. Only 9 points of damage on Kane, but lots of damage on the Durahan, and we kill the Master Mage, which is important. And she gets a level, actually, and she gets 1 defense. It's 12 fucking speed! Good god. 5 MP. Oh, and she gets Blaze 4. If she gets the cast out, I'll be shocked, but it would be lovely if she did. Ooh, yeah, and actually, yeah, Kane just moved up there, and that could have been very, very dangerous for us, actually. Um, I'm going to move Domingo here and see if he can take care of these, uh, or take care of this other Durahan. I'm not sure that he can. He can. That's good. All right. And uh, Kane's going to take a little bit of damage here, not much. Level 11, 6 defense, 3 MP. That's, uh, that's pretty excellent. Alright, now Henri can come up. Uh, she can't quite reach, though, so I guess we'll have her hang out for a minute. Now let's, uh, uh, let's see, can Arthur actually use... Yeah, he can't use that yet. Um, that's fine, though. We're, we're still gonna <laughs> just attack Kane. If we can kill him, not even worried about those other guys. 20 points of damage is excellent. Alright, now we can move Chris up here. Let's see here. Let's cast Quick on Tau. Just in case, because she's probably going to get attacked. If I had to guess. So let's get her that little bit of extra speed in the defense. Um, and see how that works out for us. Now we're just, at this point, we're just basically slowly moving people up. I'm actually going to cast Quick on, um, on Rhea as well. And hopefully we'll be able to just burn these guys down before... They get the chance to really react much. Yeah, this is going to hurt a lot. But that 10 defense could make the difference. Yeah, I think it did. 
Otherwise, I'm pretty sure she would have been quite dead. That priest didn't actually do anything, which is uh, very much to our advantage here. And uh, yeah, well, uh, let's see. What do, who do we want to kill with this? We should probably just focus up on Kane here. Um, but truth be told, like, I really want to hit the Durahan with it because we can kill it, I'm pretty confident. He's got 34 HP left, though. Um. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's hit him with it. This is, uh, the return of the fat ass blazes. You'll see why. Boom! Huge damage! 25, that's insane. He's gonna attack Domingo! Domingo's like the one character on our team who can actually take that hit, though, so I'm not even salty. And actually, you know what? This is gonna be a little bit of po poetic justice, I think. Sunri is gonna get the killing blow on uh, Kane here. A little bit of vengeance for her father. That worked out. Uh, it's gonna work out pretty well for us, I think. Yeah, excellent. All right. So uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. We'll see the result of uh, Kane's mask breaking uh, when we start the next episode. But until next time, my name has been Rojo. And thanks for watching.